Check. I'm checking the Serbian uh, center back. That's why I came to this list for. I'm just cleaning it out for no reason. All right. Hi, dude. How you doing, Stoyan Alexov? It's going to try and save you, Mr. Stoyan Alexov, for maybe a different uh, different time. What a physical beast, either-footed. Oh, so much to love about 18-year-old Stoyan Alexov. I also bought a Serbian center back before, and we did great work with him. And by that, I mean we loaned him out and then sold him for a boatload of money. So that was sick. Uh, we've got the money to do this up front, big boss man. After league appearances, 450. 4 million up front, and then after league, appearance, uh, league appearances, 450,000. Dude's instantly worth like 15 mil. We need center backs bad. I don't know if I can swing that. Let's bump this down one. I uh, just, you know. All right, just had to do some uh, mental brain break Tai Chi there. Get myself re-centered for this negotiation. So you thought I wasn't going to change this again, but I am. Sweet. The dreaded double click. I guess we're just accepting that wage. All right. Sick. Make a fit 24 million. Oh, give me 24 million. Nice, who just won the league, are offering. What's the value of this deal? 21 and a half, 15 up front with up to 18 and a half in installments, international appearances, which he would hit. All right, we've got, there's some uh, exciting things going down here. Uh, let me remove this. Let me remove this. Let me up this to 30. I don't think they'll take that. What I want to do is spark a negotiation for a good value. You know, somehow that's a terrible feeling. Because I just know that I would be able to get more than that because they accepted so readily. 33.2 million total value, 30 million straight up up front from Nice for Mika Fay. Who was good. He, he was good last year. We appreciate it. Mika Fay's been, you know, integral after signing on a free for us over the last two years. Yeah, I think I'm going to. It's tough, dude. I really like Mika Fay, but I think we're going to accept this. And we're going to offer out for um, 40 million. But we're gonna. Oh yeah, I forgot. Lon's offered a job interview. What we want to figure out is how much wage budget they're willing to get. Or sorry, how much transfer budget Lon's is willing to give us. Yeah, that seems fine. Challenge for Champions League qualification. I agree. That's. I mean, I already did that. Oh my God! It's 120 million, dude. They're not in the Champions League though. This is so. This is tough, dude. The real question, right? Because our goal, you know, my goal, a man of ambition in this save is to ascend to the top, ascend to the top of the game, all the way to the top of the game. We're trying to climb as fast as we can, but we're in the freaking Champions League right now. Longs to be in the Europa League, but here's the flip side of that. I don't think we can win the Champions League with, with St. Etienne. Maybe we get to the knockouts. Yeah, we get in the top 24. We get to the knockouts, but. With Lons, you've got a tycoon, an eel sing who's throwing money around. Higher reputation in a Europa League that I think we might be able to win, especially with the amount of money that we've got to spend, the, the players that we're aware of. Okay, well, let's see if we get the job, chat. Let's see if we get the job, right? There's a lot of stuff up in the air. Mika Fey's sale, the signing of this uh, Serbian guy, and also whether we are taking the law's job. Yeah, I just said Sage was worth uh, 61 to $70 million after his season in the top flight. I'm going to be a little scummy here. I'm going to be a little scummy. We're going to delay the transfer. I'm not taking it. I like that center back. Maybe we want to bring him to Laws. You know, I pfft, we're not going to mess with this yet. Liam Scales has left chat. Regardless of what happens and where we're going, 
Liam Scales did the Lord's work over the last two years for us as a left back and center back sub. Really well-rounded, solid player. Deserves his flowers for his performances. We appreciated what he what he did. Players have now returned. Bad Boy, Diallo, Kagan, Sage, Sane, Okachukwu, Yosung Hyun, Grigory Vasilenko. They hired Christoph Gaultier over us, dude. Isn't this the dude? This is this the guy that was like so cripplingly rate? I, if he's not, I don't want to go after him. But isn't this the guy that was so cripplingly racist that he's getting charged criminally in uh, in France? Right. This is that guy. No, it's not because I demanded more. They also said it was league expectations. They were okay with the transfer budget, but they were not okay with the payroll budget. And they, yeah, they went with league expectations. I would like to bring in Stoyan Alexov, please, for four million. There's our center back, Stoyan Alexov. We're gonna have to round out our uh, coaching staff as well. And Mika Fay looks like he's headed for the door. Plays well for the team. Driven, reserved, an indicator of professionalism, and instantly worth twenty nine to forty three million. So we we love to see that. I would have taken it. I would have, I would have taken the lawns job. If they if they offered the job to me, I would have taken it. But now you know we are going to smack them around this year. Started nearly every game, was signed for free from Barcelona's academy. And, uh, you know, they played 64 matches in just two years. Season expectations. Oh, reach league table. Yeah. Qualify for the... Dude, it was a void relegation last season. And now it's qualify for the Europa League through the league. I respect it, but like, damn, that's a pretty solid increase to your expectations guys i'm gonna be honest i don't know if there are a lot of guys we can sign to make a massive improvement to our team i really i don't know if those guys exist now this guy why is he so cheap he's definitely a weird player he's developed in a weird way but he also has like and i mean this genuinely legit world-class finishing ability with the composure the touch obviously the finishing he's got good off the ball and he's a good athlete he can separate really well determination is there he's creative with a 15 flair likes big matches i mean we do have mokawina and schumacher already i don't know what playing time this guy would want but i think we at least explore an offer they're gonna offer him out to other people after we put that offer in they're like, well, I think we can get more. And I'm like, yeah, you probably should be able to. My goodness. Now, this is the type of guy I want. This is the type of... We're building our team from unwanted misfit toys, and this is an unwanted misfit toy that makes a ton of sense. Well, there's your replacement for Mika Fey, Fabio Chiarodia, who just does everything at an incredibly above-average level. Straight 14 in every physical attribute, 14s, 13s, and 15s at basically everything but tackling and technique. We can make a play on Fabio Chiarodia here. You guys smelling this? We can make a play on Fabio Chiarodia. This is, uh, this is a good player. Thank the heavens, a good player. This is how we're going to build the team, not spending $36 million on one player. But we've cultivated an excellent short list. And we know we know where all the gems are buried. We know where all the gems are buried. 